just when we thought we found a real easy way to round out our corners without any problems, well, we took a look at Internet Explorer, and if we refresh it, you'll notice we have a problem. The problem is, if you look closely at uh, at the header, it has see that little line over there right here. What's that about? Why is that there? And if you look all the way down to the other side, we have the same deal over here. And this is just should just be a rounded corner, not even have that. Well, what's going on? Uh, you know, it seems like the way IE is reading this thing, it's just doesn't want to give it the right corners. I'm looking at it here in Safari, um, sorry, in Firefox. And when we look here, see the corners are, are proper over here. Actually, if you look carefully, you see how, how they're supposed to be? The bigger corner to the right is Firefox, and this one to the left over here is Internet Explorer. Well, let's fix that. And fortunately, this is a pretty easy fix because I believe if we add some uh, padding to the bottom is zero, it'll get rid of it. Now, we don't want to put this for everything because this is a CSS, um, IE specific uh, CSS hack. So I am actually going to add, um, I'm going to create a new file altogether. Let's see, uh, no, let me not do it this way. What I'll do is I'll go into my site root folder. I'm just going to make a quick copy of my main.css and I'm going to call it IE CSS. Okay, now I'm going to add that IE in there, but I don't want it to be used all the time. So what I'm going to do is I have to add the conditional statement. So first thing I did is I just copy and pasted a a link to that CSS file automatically. Basically, I copied this link, I put it here, and I named my file IE.CSS. Now I don't want this thing referenced all the time. I only want this thing referenced if IE is the uh, browser that people are coming with. So to do that, I'll do the less than exclamation point dash dash and then I'll put a space and I'll put the bracket and I'll put if IE in capital and then close that bracket and then I'll do the greater than sign and then that should do its thing and now I'm going to end this if. So I'm going to so here's what it's going to do if it's IE. If it's IE, it's going to link this style sheet to the page. And then I'm going to close this if with less than exclamation point and end if the bracket dash dash. So that should bring everything back. And now this is going to basically tell uh, the browser that if if Internet Explorer is the browser being used, then also use this style sheet. So now let's actually look at what we're going to put in that style sheet. Um, maybe it's not. We linked it there. Let me see. We linked it here. Oh, it's definitely in there. So let's actually use it. Okay. And we could erase all this stuff because this is our Internet Explorer. And what we need to target over here is our our header up top. Well, let's see. Actually, for some reason, I think this happens to the footer as well. So before I go further, let me just make sure that my footer is uh, experiencing the same problem. Let's see. Here we go. Class, and then we put rounded. So I have bumped into this before and uh, yeah so down at the bottom over here right where my cursor is you see how there is that extra little line down there you could barely see it but it's there you see it well that's the same thing as as that top thing so we need to make sure that none of these have that that padding bottom thing going on so what I'm gonna do is in my IE over here. I'm just going to put this is for my header. Let me zoom in on this for you. For my header and my footer, I'm going to do padding 
bottom. And I'll do zero. I think I could just get away with zero instead of defining a unit for it. So once I do that, let's see what happens now. Do I get rid of it? Almost. I'm thinking maybe I have my. Well, this should have worked. Let's see if. Hmm. We. I either need to put this value in this em. Well, that didn't do it. You know what I think? Maybe. Maybe my syntax of my ie conditional statement is uh, not right. Definitely not something unusual. So I'm just going to look at how exactly. Well, I should. If let's see, give me an example. If I e, so where is my problem? I say I'm in here, and my index, my well, my index isn't loading it up either. So if I e, then link link that. What are we doing here? Dash dash. Oh, did I do something stupid like put that space over there and that's killing it? I think so. Let's see. Beautiful. You see what just happened over there? Now it actually got rid of it. Notice? And just, hey, you know what? We all make mistakes. And my mistake was so subtle. Basically, all I see, this thing should have been loading up that IE through that call right here, but I just added a space to it. Basically, the whole thing that was killing it was I, uh, whoops, sorry to make you sick over here. Before, it was like this, and this wasn't right. The syntax has to be perfect. And you know, that's what I said. I said, hey, I know this should work. Why isn't it working? So I went to online and I made sure I checked the reference for the conditional statements. And you know, when I looked at the example, I didn't see any space there. So I said, hey, it must be my space. But that's really all it takes um, to fix the jQuery problem. And now what we're going to have is in the future when we're working with these, if we find any inconsistencies in Internet Explorer, we could just actually fix them by using our IE CSS style document.